The Bible is full of evidence that God can provide signs to help you in your search for your soulmate. Whether it's through a confirmation in your spirit or an outright sign, God is more than capable of letting you know who that person is. Here are five things God will do when you find the one He has chosen for you. You've probably heard that love is a mystery, and that it is not always easy to find the one God has chosen for you. However, that is not quite the case. He gives you the same Spirit. You will both receive the same Spirit from God when He brings you, and the person He has chosen for you. This is because when two people share the same Spirit, they will think and act in similar ways, feeling as though you have known each other for a very long time, almost like long-lost friends, and you will get along with each other without much resistance. In contrast to average relationships, which make it difficult for you to figure out a partner even after years of dating, relationships that come from God will be completely different. The Bible contains several examples of this kind of relationship. For example, when Adam first saw Eve, he felt joy even though it was his first time meeting her. He also felt peace within him. Similarly, in Genesis 24, when Rebecca was asked if she wanted to go meet her husband, Isaac, she felt peace and agreed to go because God had already placed each other's hearts together. When God brings people together who have a matching spirit, even the most seemingly insurmountable obstacles can seem insignificant. Number two, he gives you both the same spirit, which provides a foundational base on which you can both agree on in terms of values. It also means that when decisions need to be made, negotiations can happen quickly and harmoniously since both parties tend to think along the same lines. He gives you one voice. One of the blessings that God bestows upon you is the ability to speak with one voice so that you and your companion will always share the same thoughts and viewpoints without misunderstandings. When there is a single voice, both sides are aware of what is being said and its underlying significance. When God is not involved in a relationship, language or one voice disappears, and conversations can easily become riddled with miscommunication. For instance, in Genesis 11:6, God declared that these people are of one language and that nothing they set out to accomplish would be impossible for them. Although the aforementioned reference relates to a different context, it is evident that even God acknowledges that people who have one voice remain stronger. Conversely, when God is not involved in a relationship, the devil actively interprets what the two parties are discussing. That is to say, when one party says something, the devil gives the other party a completely different interpretation of what was said in the same. The Bible says in Genesis 11:7, Let us go down and confuse their language so that they do not understand one another's speech. The devil heavily uses this concept, so when you confuse language, you will both hear things that the other person never intended or said. However, when God is at the center of a relationship, the Spirit of God controls and interprets what the true messages were, and even in situations where a wrong message was given, the Spirit of God will prevent or restrict the other party from taking what was said out of context rather than the devil twisting your words and causing assumptions and incorrect interpretations. Thirdly, all of the communication is crystal clear and leaves no opportunity for misunderstandings to lead to uncertainty and confusion. God does the work long before you meet the one He has selected for you. He starts teaching that person the fundamentals of a healthy relationship so that you don't have to. This means that when you do meet your spouse, they will already know how to act around you. Unlike ordinary couples who must go through difficult phases like making amends for past transgressions, God-paired couples have already received divine training and will spare you the agony of having to impart morality to them. He teaches your spouse the fundamentals of what behaviors are acceptable and those that are not so you won't have to worry about having to constantly correct them. They will understand that cheating and being unfaithful are wrong, and that arriving home late is irresponsible. When you correct a grown-up adult, your spouse will accept your correction with grace. They will readily own their mistakes, apologize, and make amends without things getting worse. If this is something that comes naturally to your spouse, you won't find yourself getting frustrated trying to correct them. Living with someone who, because of the training God's Spirit bestows on them, knows you on an inside level is like that. Your partner will understand instinctively that a husband is supposed to support and care for his family. On the other side, a future wife will understand that cooking for her family comes naturally to her, and she will relish her duty as a wife and look forward to giving it her all. No party will view the responsibilities of the other as a burden. Rather, this understanding will develop organically between the two parties. This is because even as they are consumed with their own thoughts and anxieties, God is quietly at work, tying their hearts together with insignificant acts of kindness and arranging for fateful occasions. Fourth is natural flow. A natural flow. When God arranges a union between two people, it is often characterized by non-resistance and serenity. 
There are no fits of frustration or anger over seemingly pointless disputes. Instead, there exists a mutual respect that keeps both parties humble and grateful for each other. This natural flow of love brings out the best in both partners, encouraging them to be a better version of themselves in every aspect of their connection. For example, the woman enjoys cooking. The man in the relationship will not feel ashamed or embarrassed to help out in the kitchen or watch the children at night when she is sleeping, just as the woman will not feel the need. This kind of partnership is the epitome of synergy and happiness that results from being a part of something much greater than any of them alone. The boundaries of a relationship will no longer be defined by arbitrary roles and expectations that have been dutifully passed down from previous generations. Instead, with God's blessing, both partners act from a place of understanding, compassion and respect rather than pressure and guilt. When God brings both together, it will flow with harmony because it is simply how it is supposed to be because even when life throws them curveballs, God will make sure that when He brings two people together, they work it out the right way. Number five, when God delivers you the person He desires for you, tremendous tolerance becomes the relationship's defining characteristic. Your partner will know instinctively when to look past your flaws and forgive with grace. There won't be any bitterness or resentment that's harbored and left to fester. Instead, it will almost immediately be released in form of grace and compassion. Your partner will be accepting of your flaws and shortcomings, just as you too would do the same for your beloved. You will both understand that mistakes can and will be made at times, but these missteps won't be the reason for a wedge in the relationship or an excuse to push away from each other. The divinely blessed partner won't succumb to anger as soon as things don't go their way, but instead will come from a place of understanding, contentment, and security. This sets your God-given relationship apart from others based on casual meetings or superficial attraction, even when tolerance and forgiveness can become difficult. Both parties are bound by a shared knowledge that any disharmony between them is sinful in the eyes of God. Above all else, the biggest gift this soulmate of yours will give is an unrivaled tolerance and acceptance that you both need and deserve in your relationship, so there you have it. Thank you for watching if you love our videos. Please feel free to subscribe to our channel.